Hi guys, our latest will be about Elvis Nyati, the Zimbabwean national who sadly passed away in uh, Deep Slot. Let's follow up on that. Two days ago, we were sadly informed about the death of Elvis Nyati, a Zimbabwean national who was a resident at Deep Slot. According to what was reported by SA Media Houses, he was ambushed by a group of people who took him from his home. Those people thereafter stoned and burned him to death. As we continue with the story, please remember to also read these comments. These are debates that are coming from Twitter regarding this issue. Now, as you see the tweets in the background, people are worried. It seems like the crime scene was rushed and there are some questions that are now being raised. Normally, if a person died in this manner, the way in which Elvis Nyati died, there will be forensic and pathology experts to assess the crime scene. Those people will thereafter compile a detailed report. The remains will then have to undergo DNA testing to verify or link the identity of the deceased. This process is done by Forensic and Pathology Department. This process takes a while, sometimes it can even take over a month. Some people can even wait for the DNA forensic test for over six months before they can bury their loved ones. As we remember with Mujeka Madisha, the late Sundowns midfielder, his funeral had to be delayed for over two months because his family had to wait for the government to complete DNA tests on him. While we are still on that, normally in this type of a situation where a person was bent, the bones and skeleton will remain. According to experts, bones don't bend to ashes, but surprisingly with Elvis Nyati, everything seems to have been bent to ashes as the images that were shown by mainstream media houses were only showing ashes. To add on that, the crime scene was cleaned and cleared by his family without police presence. This is unusual. This was his family when they were clearing the crime scene. Forensic and pathology experts were also not on the scene to verify and do their investigation unless that information was not reported to the public. The questions that are now popping up or being raised by SA citizens are, when was his DNA verified and who did the DNA test? Can any pathologist who was assigned to Elvis' case confirm events of what happened with alleged Elvis' body? Is there any forensic report compiled by a forensic unit called the scene? If yes, where is this information? How come it was compiled so fast within 24 hours while some other families like Madisa's family had to wait for some months for the DNA test to be verified? Can Deep Slot Police Station confirm what transpired at the crime scene? Were they there? What is really going on here? This is all we have for now and this information is becoming more and more tricky. Once again, we just want to send our heartfelt condolences to Nyati's family. That will be all from my side. Please remember to leave your comments down below and let us know of your take regarding everything that we've covered. That will be all from me. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again next time. Bye.